Hello everybody. Uh, a friend of a friend of mine asked, my friend asked me, if Design Spark Mechanical could handle sheet metal work. Well, unlike its big brother Space Claim, it does not have dedicated tools to do this work. But I've had a bit of hack around and come up with a few things. And here's my first basic uh, sheet metal work idea. Hope you enjoy it. But first, here is a message. I have now created a Patreon channel. Your patronage will ensure that new and interesting tutorials on many other applications will be available. It will also enable me to employ other personnel that will free up more time to devote to the creation of tutorials. Some immediate tutorials would be on applications such as Autodesk products, AutoSketch 9, AutoCAD etc. Vectric products, VCAR Pro. It is also my intention to make tutorials on hand coding G-code for CNC machine work. Lathe work, milling and even aluminium casting will also be covered occasionally. Help and problem solving given and your suggestions for other tutorials would be welcomed. Please go to this address and become a patron. Thank you. We'll start off by making a basic bend. A v for V for vertical. We'll draw ourselves a basic rectangle. And we'll make some preliminary cuts. One point five. We're going to make the thickness of this material 1.5, so make cuts of 1.5 by 1. Once you do one 1 1.5 cut, it remembers it for the next one, which is nice and handy. So we need to trim them just a little bit uh, and uh, with the trim tool up here. <clears throat> so that's the basic cut we need and I'm going to put some little rounds on the corners because I might show a bend from one of the from the other end here so we'll choose our create a rounded corner we'll put some one millimeter corners on That's all done. Pull tool puts us in 3D mode. We <coughs> rotate it a little, pull it up 1.5, gives us our material thickness. Okay, now we want to put some trajectories on the corner and we're going to pull our, our flanges along trajectories so we need to put a sketch plane on top here and rotate it with this tool down the bottom here and we need to get that that rotator so it's out rotating type in 90 return V for victory or vertical and let's look at this edge so now we're going to put a trajectory to pull on here it selects the middle for us which is nice and handy so we drag out an arbitrary distance say two millimeters then we'll go down 10 type in 10 and let's do a return edge of another 10 and escape whoops 10 oh dear Control Z. Whoops. Escape. Escape. Uh, right. Ten. Return. That's it. Escape. <clears throat> okay. We'll put some 
rounded corners here. One millimeter. See that it changes. You put a radius of one millimeter, and it changes to a two millimeter diameter. Mhm. Mm uh, that's a little bit idiosyncratic. Okay, we'll do something here. A radius. You see, it does a radius of two, and then makes it into a four millimeter diameter. Ah, well. Okay. So now we can turn this a bit. We've got the pole. So we select that face. We've got the straight pole tool. Select the curly one. <coughs> And double click on the trajectory one two so that selects it all left click and drag keep dragging down don't drag along because it disappears for some reason keep dragging down 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 till it stops that's it and there we are select so you see we've got our little bend on there now <clears throat> this is a handy thing here down this the gadget. If you click on the Z, it turns it to face us, then a bit more and a bit, and again, shift, middle mouse button, and drag, and we can see the whole thing end on. So select and drag. And we've selected our bend. Hopefully, click on the move tool. Now, if this happens, you get only get one arrow pointing down. It means that you've selected your trajectory instead of the whole bend of material. So, can we drag that off onto the? No. So we really. I think we can only. Delete the curve and do the same exercise again. So we've got Z2 again, again, capture that. And lo and behold, we've, we've now got all three axes, we've selected the bend. To prove this, we can grab this axis and we should be able to move the whole bend in and out, that's right. So that's worked. Now then, if we want a conventional bend outside of the edge there, we can drag this hub and pop it onto the inside face. Then using the up to tool, select the face this face here and it moves up to there so we've got a normal bend just out going outside of the edge of the material otherwise if we take the hub and place it on the outside of the box and then do the up to tool and do the same exercise again we've got a bend that goes inside the edge Shift middle mouse button. So there we have a return edge, which, if we made all four sides, what we could do is put a sketch plane on here, draw a line across, uh, do a tab to get to the angle, tab 45, return I've got a 45 escape to get out of that and do another one here it's already 45 so we can escape <coughs> pull tool Drag, click, drag, it's 
so that, which means that if we did all four edges similarly those bevels would go together and we have a box with internal return edges which should be very nice so I hope you understand my flu ridden accent and I hope you enjoyed that please subscribe bye